The Achilles tendon is a tendon that connects the calf muscle to the heel bone and is very important in walking and running and jumping and activities like that. And as you may well know, sometimes it tears and there have been some high profile athletes in basketball that have torn this tendon. Now these tendon tears, they occur in both men and women, but more often in men. And typically in the ages between 30 and 40 is a very common age for this to occur. And the very typical person that we see that this occurs to is that weekend warrior that's playing sports uh, on the weekend and something happens while they're playing sport and that tendon tears. When patients who have torn their Achilles tendon come to the office, very commonly they will have reported to us that during this sporting event or activity that they've heard a pop and that they went down and fell. That's a very common report. Most of these patients come in limping, having difficulty walking because there's pain and there's weakness, and a lot of time the pain radiates all the way down into the heel bone. Okay, so Achilles tendon tear, foot is flat. It normally would be sitting more like this, so it's flat. When I squeeze the calf, it doesn't move, and there's a palpable defect right here. Imaging techniques such as MRI and ultrasound are often used to help confirm the diagnosis of an Achilles tendon tear. In this image, this is an MRI, and the red arrow is pointing to the Achilles tendon, which looks like a black line on this image. This again is an MRI image, and here we see a tear of the Achilles tendon as indicated by the little red arrow showing the gap between the two ends of the ruptured Achilles tendon. This is an ultrasound image that has been rotated to orient the same as the other MRI images we just saw. And here, the ultrasound, which is often used in the office, we can also see a tear of the Achilles tendon, and this is a useful tool for confirming diagnosis. The treatment for an Achilles tendon rupture can either be surgery or non-surgery. Now, some patients may choose to have a non-surgical treatment because they may be medically frail and have medical problems that make it difficult for them to have surgery. It could be someone who is sedentary, doesn't do much activity, or someone may just choose that they don't want to have an operation. Now there are studies that have been done that show that some patients can have an acceptable outcome after they've been treated non-surgically. And non-surgical treatment is essentially being treated in a cast and not being allowed to walk for a couple of months. For many patients who have had an Achilles tendon rupture, we often will recommend surgical repair to connect those two ends of the tendon that have torn apart to sew them back together again. Now, surgery is very commonly performed on patients who are active, and this type of surgery is usually a same-day procedure where patients come in and go home the same day. Some of the benefits that have been suggested in the literature is that there is a less chance of re-rupture of the tendon and increased strength. The torn ends of the tendon, we put sutures in either end, and then we will tie these together to repair it. Okay. So now we have a normal contour of the ankle pointing back up. After surgery, recovery will take several months. Patients will do physical therapy. But initially, after the surgery, the patients will be in the splint. And usually they're in the splint for a few weeks. They're usually kept non-weight bearing, meaning we don't let them put their weight on that leg for four to six weeks. And after that, patients are very often transitioned to what looks like a ski boot to put on their leg, and they use that when they're walking for a few more weeks to protect the repair. And again, then there's physical therapy to help them recover and get back to their activity level. If you'd like to make an appointment to see me, then please click up here. If you'd like to watch a video about pectoralis tendon ruptures, then click down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then click on this icon over here. Thank you.